Hello everyone, I'm Gander, I'm also Sari, and yeah, if I get off on a tangent like that, I'll, if I'm, if able to, I'll place it at the end of the video. That seems like a really convenient spot for it. Sister. Astrid. Watch yourself out there. And you too. And, yeah. I was about to say, and in here too, but I feel like that might be a sore spot for her still. Thanks, Vizra. Festus did it. So the prodigal murderer returns. And the gourmet? Dead. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid. Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Thank you, Festus. I appreciate it. Festus giving me this ring is actually like really impressive. The Night Weaver's Band. <gasps> Ooh. It's a sneak ring, and destruction spells cost less. I'll keep this. Sister. Brother. I have anything to eat. It's something that's meteor. So magic. it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead the second is as good as dead. So it's time. We're going to kill the Emperor. Oh yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. What should I use? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. What else can you tell me about this? It's a rare plant, found only on the island of Stros Mackay. It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. Anything else I should know? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Right then. I won't fuck this up, Astrid. Sister? You, you've all been really good to me, and I won't fuck this up.
solitude. I'm all ears. Well, not literally. Are you saying you don't trust me? No, I'm saying that if Fair we have point, to deal with actually, cops... I wouldn't trust me. Hmm. think we would have to go back to freaking solitude but since we do here we go I'm sorry to make you hump this useless junk around but Things get bad. Wow, they're all stolen. Jeez. Wow, I had two real ones in there. Wow, one real one in there. Don't even try it. Hmm, how many books are to worry about? Aha! Uh -huh. Store that book. By the way, this game would totally kill me if I ate that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um. We have to go to solitude. Hopefully we can pay these people off. Look, freaky horse. You're really scary. Commander Morrow. Boy, I hope he doesn't recognize me. Was there something you wanted? I take it by trade, you mean dump all your useless junk on me? You. Fine. I'm glad I died into the blue palace you what might happened? want to rethink that outfit. by the order of the yard what do you stop right there to get a drink around here what? actually i don't think i want got to know. Me. smart woman now come along with us we'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go after you pay the fine of course this city is crawling with imperial legion and you know what i'm still nervous I wish more guards were reasonable like him. Need something? Parkour it up. Wait a minute. Oh, did you need something? Sophia! Yes, I'm listening. Do I have a choice? Well, okay, but you owe me. Hmm. 
Would you please yes. Keep the clothes let's on? go. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. I'm not. Hmm. A couple of real men died because of these freaking vampires. In these days. Sophia. Let me guess. Is it because you're scared what I might do with it? I need those clothes. on. I guess I'm to take off this helmet. I'm going to put the shield away. Hmm. Didn't miss any item slots, did I? It's the armor, the head, the gloves, the boots, yes. Okay then. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's see. Before we take out the Emperor, there was something else. I no, not right now, lad. Youngest bard at the Bard's College. Your service. Yes, Sora. Dean Inga says Bard can have practice. So would you like it too? Palace, eh? Well, let's see what this guy was all about while we're here. Just hope we don't cause so much a stir that we get thrown out of this place forever. Being able to explain Sophia away as my bodyguard is something I'm grateful for. And who am I to talk to here? Two people over there. Let's not seem too weird. I swear to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will all be safe under my Your room. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragon Bridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called so for. So you're the strong silent oh, Yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain, Captain Aldous I said to time. assign a few extra soldiers then to Dragon again, Bridge. Who could resist spending Thank you, time with Elsif. me? What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnus. Rest easy. You're dismissed. Be quick. I have Do little patience. Do you have business with the court? Answers. I overhear that you're looking for some help with a cave. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. 
There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolf Skull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect wild animals, or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work. I'll do it. Feel free to return to me with questions. The Blue Palace is an open You're all forum. Ball gruff. You want, milk drinker? I. My friend died. Things won't be the same without him. Oh, old friend. I don't Next like talking to someone who forges their honor so cheap. I'll always be a commander. Shut Even up, those Krongar. Dogs, that's my power. I'm just upset because you lost. But I understand. After White Run is retaken, Ulfric will pay in blood for his insolence. Let's get out of here, Sophia. Let's talk to some of the people downstairs. And leave Jarl Balgruff to his business. There's probably a lot of like crazy NPCs here, huh? Not crazy as in like mad, but I mean crazy as in like, whoa, why are these guys all here? It's because the Emperor thing. Let's not draw suspicion by running around all over the place. Hmm. You. That's refreshing. Let's not wake her. I think I'd want the bleeding to stop before it woke her up. You. Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Oh, I'd get in trouble for that. It's not allowed. Besides, it's scary in there. Falk asked me to check it out. Well, I suppose in that case it's okay to let you in. But only briefly. Be careful and come right back. Anything up while you're here? I won't. The Pelagius room is that way. The clipping issue with the quiver in the backpack, but I don't mind it. I like to think that the quiver is just poorly stuffed in the backpack. And this is also way nicer looking than a backpack from the previous one that I had. Ooh. This is a little odd. What happened in here that caused it to be this way? the way those break apart and the sound that it makes so crisp hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, my dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. 
Well, except for that Mark. But he turned into a dragon god. And that's hard to support. Shogaroth. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time. Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese to die for. I remember him from books. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rump? Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave so me to my ceaseless responsibilities and, arrow, huh? and burdens. Oh, hi, then. What? In the How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. I'm yeah. Uh, I'm here with the where are we? Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? I'm here with a message. Really? Oh, oh what kind of message? A song! A summons! Wait, uh, I know! A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine! Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal! I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? I was asked to retrieve you from your vacation. Where you now? By who? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, huh? Huh? The ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes! Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny, puny, expendable little mortal, actually think you can convince me to leave? Because that's crazy! You don't realize who you're dealing with here. I'm... I'm afraid I don't know, sir. WRONG! Actually, you do, Sartre. I am a part of you, little mortal. I'm a shadow in your subconscious. A blemish on your fragile little psyche. You know me. You just don't know it. Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness, at your service. So does that mean you'll go, or no? Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. So what's the catch here? Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Dare to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. You have any idea where you are? Where you truly are? Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius III. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabajack! Huh? Huh? The Wabajack? Didn't see that coming, did you? The Wabba what? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate 
state of mind. A wabba jack. Well, this is a thing. We're going to explore this in the next video. Also, if I click it, when I come back and it says Mind of Pelagius, I might go nuts. <laughs>